boop boop. I just realized I forgot to uh, put my timer on the right uh, right time, <laughs> so I let it run because it was already running. But I I apologize for that. Ah, uh, let me see. I forgot to do two things. Well, one really. Why not? I'm trying to get to my uh, save file location. With the, full... With the game already open, it's uh, not easy. Uh, come on, open in new fenster. Can we do that? Yes, new window. There we go. Okay. Usually I do it in advance. I forgot. Oh, yeah, update. Uh... Hello everyone, welcome back to Supermarket Sim. Sorry, it's a bit of a hectic ending, uh, ending start. I need more sleep, clearly. I'm fine. All right. Um, I was watching once again. If there was going to be an update today. Wait. Then where is it? God, it's putting it on the D drive. Put it in this folder. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's been a bit of a hectic day. Uh, so I was just looking on the on their Discord to see if the update was coming out today. Uh, the, the dev basically, well, he's working on it. He's testing, but he's basically going, it's either in three hours or in three days. So, yeah, no idea. It's fine. It's, uh, what's the month? Right, through the 3rd, and this is the 12th today, there we go. Close that, close that, and continue. There we go. Now we can load in. <laughs> Sushi Bonanza, yeah. Hello, Debbie. Hey, Chester, Patrick, I see. Hotbog, hello again. Chris and Zach is here. Gordon, hello. Hello, girl. Yes, I'm good. Hey, Edge. <laughs> Hammond. And Michael Kitten subscribed with on Twitch. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I was just working on some of the alerts. Uh, the thing is that on Streamlabs, you basically need to log in with YouTube to work on the YouTube alerts. You need to log in. And they made it easy to switch between the two. Uh, you need to log in with Twitch to do the Twitch. But that's why some things weren't set up completely right so i fixed it uh, what is twitch uh, twitch is a, a streaming site mostly focused on just games so basically i'm uh, that was loud uh basically i'm sending the the stream to to uh two locations there's no sound settings. Did I always turn the sound down just manually? No, not that one. Hold on. Yeah, this that's the sidewalk. Hold on. Mixer. Thank you. That was already set lower. It, uh, it remembers that. Okay, that's good. I'm not familiar with those streaming apps. So, Michael, thank you very much for the sub. I apologize for a bit of a messy start there. Uh, I was actually debating whether to stream at all today because... Uh, I'm obviously waiting for the update for this game. I'm also waiting for an up big update for Kebab Chefs. Already been in contact with the dev. He might even be able to get me early access to that update. So that'll be very cool. Uh, but it's probably all gonna go tomorrow. 
that means we, yes not six hours today it's it's already quite late uh, and i really i need to i can't sleep it's really annoying well once i'm asleep it's not much of a problem so basically i need to end it a little bit earlier than the other last couple of times we streamed so yeah uh, plans. So before I closed off yesterday, I upped the prices to above twenty dollars to like yeah, what up to two dollars extra. But that's about ten percent, right? Well, a little less. It's a little less than ten percent. So we can test. I think there's only three products above 20 the sushi and the cakes so let's test that for a day see how it goes then i can try to up the prices uh, between 15 and 20 dollars is the music loud or is it just me no. Just a little weird day, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the stalker update. <laughs> I guess that's an un uh, ongoing joke there. I've started using restalker because. <laughs> Because it did, I even to my own ears, it sounded like stalker, not stalker. But that's because I, yeah. It's just the accent. It's fine. Can't help it really. All right, let's see what we need to order today. So, first we're gonna test those three expensive products. Um. Yeah, should we should we do more? How many how many products are between the fifteen and the twenty bucks? I don't actually know. I don't think there's anything about fifteen in the freezer. Six, eight, four. There's no absolutely no drinks. So we got a meat. Yeah, just that. No, no, not the cheeses, not the drinks either. We got one meat of that price. Probably some cleaning items. Oh wait, this one's also above the 20. Um, we do need to keep it consistent. So do, yeah, $2 up, but round it down. Yeah, so that's two cleaning items above 15. Yeah, that one's good at $2 extra. If there's only a few, I might change those too. Because otherwise the testing is going to be slow, slow, slow. Oh, how about uh, other meat products? No, they're, they're also quite cheap, actually. And this is the cheapy aisle. I really, it's almost like I sorted, except for the mayonnaise, but... I pretty much shorted it on pricing. The difference between ordering costs between one aisle and the next. Introduce myself. I've been here for four years, darling. I don't need to. <laughs> Ancient sorceress. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you. There you go, dear. <laughs> well, absolutely no offense. Uh, people who want to get to know me a little bit more personally are welcome to join the Discord. But I am quite a private person. I do share f fun trips, though, and such. And the cats. Don't forget the cats. Hey, Anonymous Mouse. Hey, Farhan. I mean, let me just put it like that. I don't take you with me to my bedroom. Can we just keep it like that? <laughs> so expensive. I know we're going to test, Simona. I know. Okay, I think we can... Uh, how, how expensive should we make... The things between 15 and 20 dollars 150 higher i have it on 80 cents right now is that too high 150. 
Honestly, 120 would probably be a good fit. Uh, let me see. We have one meat. So that's uh, plus one. Yeah, so that's exactly uh, 40 cents higher. So that's 17 rounds. No, 17. Thank you. No, the rest is all below 15. Yeah. We had some cleaning items. This one. Hold on. Let me just remove the pride. There we go. Um, now I can type. Uh, what? 16.20? We're doing 120. I had 80 cents before, but I think 160 is a bit high. We're just testers. I mean... Do what? We'll do 150. That's a nice round number, I think. We are testing after all, pushing the limits. But I'm I'm starting with just a couple of items, just so I can keep a better eye out on. So how much would this one be? Um, 90 plus is 30. Yeah. Uh, there was one more here. It's probably the toilet paper. Yes, this one. Um, so that's 18.90. And if people complain, we'll lower the bid again. I don't think we have anything else between the 15 and the 20 dollars. Because that one's above 20. Well, I just checked, didn't I? We didn't have anything. This mayo is... Well, the... The honey is actually 12, higher than I thought. Mayo was 10. Just checking I didn't miss anything. Nope, pepper is also 10. Okay, so we got a couple of products we're testing with. Let's do some ordering. Uh, if I paid my bills, I have paid my bills. So the problem was that, and I was actually talking uh, about this on the Discord as well, that I suddenly dropped from a, a good, uh, probably 3k profit a day to like 1500. And I think it's a combination of a couple of things. 10%, yeah, I'm trying to keep it pretty even. If I got to start calculating 10% over each price, that's gonna take a bit more time. Thanks, Itorn. Welcome, welcome. No bedroom out of your bye but No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> FBI, open up! All links are always uh, in the description as well, though you have commands in chat to call it up. Do we have a command for the Streamlabs point store, Edgar? I mean, it's pretty much the same site as donations, but maybe a specific one. I just realized we might not have that. Okay, let me see, because we... Do we, have, do we have extra chicken? Oh, don't, don't push it away. Yes, we do, okay. Okay, hi, how, uh, how many? Oh, this is full. Okay, no chicken needed. It, it looks a bit empty, but there's a whole load of fries on that side. Ice cream? No. Okay, nothing for the freezer. That's a first. Yes, I agree. <laughs> mm. There's not enough time in a day uh, to restock while you have the store open. It just, I've tried it. At a certain point, my store got so big, I just didn't make it. And I got complaints because people weren't finding stuff they wanted. So I'm basically restocking. Plus, I need to get to those 1750 checkouts myself to get the Ford cashier. Though that one. Yeah, we, we can hire them. I mean, it's not like we pay them. <laughs> you can see the money be in the morning. It says like you're paying, but there's no money taken out of your account. 
Oh, we definitely... Do we need orange juice? No. I think we need apple juice, though. Okay. Apple juice. The white water. And then we go to the sodas. Oh, not so sad, soda. We need the black goo. <laughs> that's it's called. At least, do we? It's actually quite... F no, we don't. No, that's not gonna fit. Hold on, I'll remove it. Yeah, no. There's a lot in that box. I'm gonna get a green one though, because weirdly enough, the green one is the only one that has 12 bottles in the box instead of 24. sound gets you every time that's the point hey kiwi hello um let me see because that is ground beef yes let's get that i try to uh if I put off, like, it's not necessary, right? But if I put it off further, it's going to end up all being ordered at the same day. And that's going to be really expensive, so. But really, we need very little, don't we? Did we sell that little yesterday? Could be. Or maybe had a lot of leftovers I put in last night. That's also an option. Okay, let's go to cleaning stuff. Uh, we could use some bleach. Oh, this looks pretty full. Uh, that's the purple one. So buy a green one. Jeez, what have I been doing? It's all full. Okay, we need a bleach and a green toilet paper. I finished three sections of the store and I don't need to order anything. Did I sell nothing? <laughs> Didn't I sell anything last night? Uh, the thing is, I don't think you sell a whole lot less if you make things more expensive. At least that's what I'm working with right now. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, wait, which sugars do we need? Uh, just the base one. I think people either buy it or don't buy it because that's that's my theory right now if someone doesn't agree let me know uh, if something's too expensive they won't buy it but it's not like people will buy less of something because it's a little more expensive but I'm not sure yet we'll see No coffee at all? No. Did I? No, I couldn't have restocked. Did I already restock some? Last night. Is that it? I must have. And I completely forgot. Yeah, probably. Uh, uh, last night is in during the end of the stream. Because you can't order... Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure I must have. I just forgot. Because usually when I end a stream in the morning, it's... Uh... I still need to order. I thought I still needed to order. Yeah. Go me. Uh, can we use... I think it's like 24 in a box though. I don't think that's going to fit in there. Uh, maybe add some more meat. Just to get the order full. I mean, we could use some more chicken, I think. Wait, how many go on one shell? One, two, three, four, eight. Hold on, mosquito. Denied. Please do something. 
No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 16 on the shelf. That's a lot, actually. I already had a ground beef. Uh, so the... It's a good chance to fill that up a bit. And the steak. There you go. I realized today that uh, I was waiting for two big updates on, on games and uh, it's just my luck they come on the same day we'll see how it goes Yeah, I do have a lot of leftovers, so I'm, I must have just filled it uh, already. Oh, you can still fit some more in there. Good point though that whatever you have on your shelves and you know if you keep restocking you always have your shelves full you basically had an, have an investment you never earn on on the other hand we've we have seen it happen that's a, a bunch of people come in and buy a lot of the same products and then suddenly you uh, you're out of something because you didn't restock it I guess it's just an, an investment to keep, uh, to make sure that you always have things available. Because if something, someone thinks something's too expensive, okay, you know, that happens. Uh, other customers don't agree sometimes. Hold on, did that fill up? No, there you go. But being out of something is just a loss of profit. And if only real stores saw it that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Try to keep an eye on uh, those items I've changed the price on. Yeah, it's only, uh, other than the keg, it's only be gonna be fridge and cleaning, isn't it? There. Gives me a moment to keep an eye on the store. You know, everything is so... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't get so well stocked. Maybe some... Uh... Oh. Ah, damn it. I wanted to take a picture with her there. Well, that works too. Ladies. <laughs> the shelves are a bit close together to get a good shot of them. Oh. <laughs> he just walked past the exact right moment. <laughs> that was funny. No complaints yet. Oh, 
of course, that's the moment. There you go. Okay, let's keep an eye on them. He photobombed me, right? He did. All right, so I took my most expensive items, everything above $15, and up the price. And we're, we're looking now to see if we're going to get complaints. And that's really, it's the, the toilet paper, uh, the cleaning tablets, the kegs, a meat, and the sushi, I think, if I remember correctly. And so far, I haven't seen anyone... Well, the toilet paper is apparently not a problem. I can see people taking it. Took it. No complaints yet. Yeah, I think it, that means it. I think it does go percentage-wise. The complaints. Oh, yeah, take all my sushi, especially with that $2 markup. <laughs> yeah, it's especially the... The field shops. Oh, excuse me. Uh, of the meats, I mean. Well, if this goes fine, we can try the 10 to 15 dollar, maybe up it to a whole dollar uh, markup. What updates came out? Nothing yet. Uh, well, nothing yet as in I'm waiting for the restocker update, obviously. For this, uh, wow, take all the yogurt. We were just talking uh, about how little the yogurt sells. <laughs> That's why it's so noticeable. Um, and Kebab Chefs is adding a new cooking appliance, the deep fryer, and a whole bunch of recipes. And you'll see they'll come out at exactly the same time. Oh, this one is too expensive, he says. Hmm. Okay, okay, we'll remember that. If it's only one person, though... We really need a list... ...of complaints. Specific complaints. What do they find too expensive? Hey, Supercat! I'm good, thank you. Uh, I need to go grab some chicken, I see. That should tide us over. Oh. Okay, I've seen no complaints about the sushi. I've only seen one on the cleaning tablets. Have we sold any? I think we have, though. Yeah. Though so it's just, just one person complaining. What is the profit? Six dollars. And that's the thing, right? If ten people buy it for ten cents extra or twenty cents extra, you get two dollar profit. If one person buys it, instead of leaving it, you get six dollars profit. On the other hand, if you leave it that price and in the future everyone just buys it, that's a lot of extra profit. It's a bit... Uh, yeah, one, one complaint is okay, but keep in mind that I might have missed some, right? It's it it's only a few seconds that it appears above their heads. 
that makes it tricky. No, she didn't get the... I don't know if we sold any of the veal. Looks pretty full still. Yeah, but if I look at it, actually, if I look at it per product, and let's say 10 people buy it for the 50 cents extra, but one person, you know, doesn't buy it per day, I still make a loss. Because you get $5 with, uh, profit, extra profit. But you lose $6 for someone not buying it. On the other hand, if you leave it for longer days, and no one complains, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, and if, if, you know, if we have one complaint per day, we can lower it a bit, something like that. Bye, Rob. Thanks for dropping by. Looks like we're not getting complaints about the toilet paper. You know what would be nice? If we had like a slider that told us exactly at what point people would give, uh, would start complaining. That would be great. It would make it a lot easier to balance. But yeah, I'm basically doing like 10% on those two. So 15 to $20 has a $150 markup. Above $20 has a $2 markup. So we could uh, probably definitely set the 10 to 15 to $1 markup and the 5 to 10 to like 50 cents. I think I'll leave the lowest items on 20 cents though we could split the, those are a lot we could split them up further like literally go on the 10 percent on those we'll, we'll see that's a lot of work <laughs> poor guys Okay, last customer. Let me, uh, since there's no one in the store, let me go stock some shelves here. Oh, no, no. I, w I thought for a second we ran out of price. We're good. Oh, I, well, right now I'm also saving up for that uh, restocker update. Only one? No, it doesn't fit. Because... Uh, you know, it might cost money. Maybe we need to buy a lot of shelves for the storage. Maybe we need to buy more storage space. So I definitely want more before we buy another upgrade. But it's definitely going to be space. Because uh, I don't have any more room for more shelves for more licenses. <laughs> Plus we... Oh, no, wait. I changed that. That's right. I think I need to be level 56 for the next licenses to unlock. Ah, doesn't fit a whole box. Hold on, does this fit a whole box? Nope. Yes. Yes, but not two. No one's buying mozzarella suddenly. Okay, there. That makes it easier to order 
We know exactly how many boxes we can fit. Cleaning tablets. Um, yeah, that definitely sold some of them. I got one complaint for those. We'll see if maybe I missed some complaints, though. <laughs> Nothing. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you do sell less. Prices are up. The problem is that uh, not only do we not have any overview oversight over how much you sell per day, and then you know you can see, whoops, <laughs> then you can see how much you you know your sales go up or down. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't show us how much we sell per day at all. There's no info on in the store. No, it's a it's upcoming in a separate update. So we're literally we oh oh Jesus! <laughs> I almost hit my coffee cup there. Luckily, it was empty. Um, let me put it to the side. Ow! <laughs> I hurt my wrist because I startled myself. Okay, so we're all waiting on the next update. Yes. Okay, this is not a good idea. That's way too many. That's eight products found too expensive. But I only sell one complaint in the store. This is really annoying. I was watching it the whole time and only saw one complaint. And I don't know what was the com what the complaint was. Moderation. Okay, let me see. How much do we do it then? So, what about 120? We're gonna move these ones back to 120 then. Extra. So we're trying to push it to the max, right? Um, was that it? Were there only three products of that price range? Yeah, probably. I didn't see any complaints about the sushi, but then we sold very little. Or, well, not very little, not very lot, though. I should probably just make one change per day and see how it goes. Was that, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I went 30 cents down on the products between 15 and 20 dollars. Oh, yeah, right, I've got the toilet paper. Well, it was a good test now that we know that was too much. However, I don't know if the products above 20, if that was too much. Yeah, Jean, uh, they had no complaints. But, oh, I forgot to, how much was the profit? I forgot to check that. Oh, moderation. Twenty-eight. 
1200. I should really look to income more than profit. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Okay. Hold on, get my chat back to front. There we go. Hmm. I should really look more to, to income than profit because profit also depends on what you buy and that differs a lot per day. I'll, I'll keep a better eye on it. I'll take some screenshots and we'll, we'll compare. Desktop. Uh, so this was hun day 127, I do think. Yes. Um, rename 150 and 200. I think I can remember what I mean with that. <laughs> Let's order. We're just going to collect some data and... and Change the name according to the prices. Oh, then I should do all the pricing, shouldn't I? Yeah, we should. So it's... Let me see here. It's going to be a bit of a weird file name, but... It's 127 day. 20. 40. 60. 150. 200. Yes. Okay. But now I know exactly what I did that day. So that's going to give us uh, a lot of info. Let's continue. We're just testing. Do I need more? I don't think so. Uh, how much is in the boom package? 12. Well, that's not going to fit. Cleaning spray. Just... Sorry, was it both cleaning sprays? Yes. One of each toilet paper and give me some of that bleach. There we go. Two chicken. Mm. Two chicken and some fries. One, two. Rich. <clears throat> hey, Pinjata. Hey, Mystified. Uh, I realized I need to test more. So what happened was that I upped the pricing on my on all my most expensive items above fifteen dollars, and we got eight complaints. Well, that's too much. That's just too much. So I lowered the ones between fifteen and twenty a bit. So now we're going to test again. I, I think below five to do 50 cents is too high. Because <laughs> remember, I got the chocolates 20 cents up and I already got a complaint. We, uh, what I'm trying to do is do one step at a day so we can see a clear difference. If I do multiple things in one day, that was my mistake yesterday. It, it doesn't clarify anything. Let's do some cheese instead. Oh, oh, I got stuck behind the fridge there. Um, that. Yeah, green. The comte and parmesan. That's one order full. There you go. You're full. Eggies. Medium and small. So I'm not saying it's... Uh, yeah, 25 cents. I got it on 20 cents to keep it rounded up, basically. Um, so I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I'm just saying that 
I'm trying to make only one change each day so we can see a, a, have a better idea of the differences per day just to do some testing okay, this mean I want to hurry up a bit with the restocking um, we need the black goo Eight, 16 23 I think there's 24 in a wait does it stack two or three bottles deep no it's three okay yeah no, no then we can order it uh we need the goo and the white label so let's search for some soda here's the white label here is the black goo and I'm not making it up, it's called Black Goo. No, the rest looks full enough. Meat's looking good. We need musica and lasagna. One of my biggest problems with the game is that it doesn't tell you how many items you get, get sold per day. Uh, no, I have not paid the bills yet. Just started a new day. Uh, so because the game doesn't tell you... So I have no idea if we sold less. Because we were more expensive. And that makes it a little bit tricky to figure out what you need to do. Okay, all the coffee... One, two, three. But keeping an eye on it is... Per yeah, that's really not needed. Because I got eight complaints and I only saw one. <laughs> I literally only saw one complaint the whole time. But there were eight. No, we don't need that. Uh, so, cakes and beer... Uh, wait, just search for beer. We get both of them. Thanks, Mr. Fight. Yeah, so the, the amount of customers depend on the size of your store. However, you don't get more customers with every upgrade. So that that's also why I'm hesitating a bit. Because what if I buy that space upgrade, but I don't get more customers i will have to spend all that money for nothing because i don't really need the extra space right now on the other hand if i do get more customers i don't know anyone know when you at what step you get more customers okay we definitely need that sugar brown sugar and pink so pink brown and new <laughs> that's a weird uh so new, pink, and brown sugar. New means just, it's light brown by the way, but it's just the latest I unlocked. Okay. Uh, we need some uh, bon papa. Cake. And bread. I do feel like we're selling less. It just feels like the store is uh, is fuller still. Okay, rice. Wait. Oh, we have some boxes here. I forgot. Do we need bread then? Yes. Okay. People were like, it's so expensive, I'm just getting the bread. <laughs> yeah, more products get you... Well, no, more products means they buy more stuff. At least that was in the beginning. Uh, right now, that's not really the case. But I remember buying a space upgrade and I definitely got a boost in customers. Uh... 
Hold on. What did we all order? I don't think we need any of that. We got. Did we get the rice? Let me check. Because I did get the bread. No. Okay. We don't have rice yet. Pasta. Hard to see if we need chips. We definitely need flour. Those two. Uh, salt and hot sauce. Oh, I forgot to do the price changes. Oh my god. <laughs> I was paying too much attention. Okay, so ice cream and salt I already saw, so let's do that. Um, so this one went boop over to 5, so that's 40 cents up. Uh, Before I do the rest of the price changing, let me check here. We need something. Hand soap. Yeah, just hand soap. Okay, let me see what I miss. Yeah, but you don't have an item that sells a lot and then another item you sell a lot each and every day. It can really change per day. And that's why I keep everything well stocked. Okay, I forgot to keep an eye out for the price changes. So I need to do a quick check. Nothing in the fridge. I got the ice cream. Salt. Anything I missed? Boop, boop. No, that was actually it. Okay. So yeah, I wish the game would tell me how many items I sell per day, because that would allow me to, you know, give me a much better idea of whether I'm selling less with when it's more expensive. But we'll make do. We'll just look at the money, which is actually more important anyway. thing is, it, it feels like I'm selling less items, but it could be a coincidence. More chicken. Okay, got some drinks. Don't know how I managed to stock a store this size. Yeah, just 
keep it full. That's what I've been doing. I feel like it makes it easier. Also, it's a lot less work now that I've given so many items more space. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we can fit another another batch of six packs in there. Try to get that order full to ten. Only need one more item though. And we got over fifty likes, which is indeed very nice. Get my orange juice stocked. Yeah, <laughs> I had one. I I ordered it before I realized I had one box with one box in there, one box of rice. That one fits exactly. Hey, J Rod. This one I knew was gonna have one left over, but coffee can suddenly go very fast. There's the cheese. Uh, no, wrong aisle. It's this one. Yeah, empty. Perfect. Hey, Rose. Oh, that's very early for you. Couldn't sleep. walk the cat yet i think it's uh levy is probably like it's in the middle of the night i don't want to walk <laughs> just checking up on the music Oh, that one is full. Okay, just testing.
I just need to use the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna do that before we open. Uh, give me just a minute or so. I'll be right back.
my phone need there we go thank you very much for waiting i just i didn't feel too great there for a second but i'm okay now Boop. no no rick rolls allowed <laughs> Nima died to never never be seen again. <laughs> the boss is back. Mad World, that's a good song. <laughs> it's just it's just sing the whole song, Edgar. It is a very good song. There's also some good uh, alternative versions of it. Uh, I think we got everything stocked and nope, we're not, we didn't. Uh, oh, let's add some salmon. That looks a little, a little empty there. Sure, fall down, why don't you? Into the wild, that is a good, uh, a good song on this playlist it's just it's a big playlist so it doesn't come by every time just the first just the first verse in the chorus i remember watching donnie darko that's uh that movie the first time i really didn't get it until I, I watched it again, I realized that you, you're not really meant to get it. <laughs> it's good, though. Now I got that song stuck in my head. Oh, poor Edgar. I don't know if Edgar can sing. Edgar, can you sing? I don't think I've ever heard him. tune uh, that's good enough right Used to be in musical shows, really. Can we do we have video of that of little Edgar? <laughs> Things happen. Oh dear. I always encourage Edgar, he's fun. <laughs> Choir on uh, in uh, the primary school, like what? I don't know how many years it was. Uh, there was usually uh, around Christmas that we would sing a lot. Hey Mickey, your dinner had to go back. Found a hair tie in your food. Jesus, how the hell did they? I mean, I know they're supposed to use hair ties, but they're not supposed to land in the food. My goodness. So yeah, like ages 8 to 12 probably. And then, you know, sometime before Christmas, it would be set up again. And I don't remember how long we practice each year. That's a hairy situation. Oh my goodness, yes. 
Well, I mean, what's worse, a hair tie or a whole bunch of hair? <laughs> but yeah, if I'm, just... <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to say I've never had anything like that. No thanks. You wanted to join the school's drama class, but it thought it sounded like you <laughs> you sounded like a sad floof. Oh. You mean a dying cat. <laughs> Go bald, no hair tie, fair enough. So yeah, I even performed um, on the on one of the big squares once on the balcony of a big official building. I don't remember what it's called. It was light light square, but with little Nima with a Christmas hat and a red a red scarf. <laughs> I don't think there were any pictures or anything. You're surrounded by cats. You're, you're bound to have food, hair in your food. I think it's different though when I have. Oh. Really? So they're saying a buff 10 is too expensive as well. Hmm. Well, that's bound to happen. But it's so hard to catch any complaints. You need some luck though. Because I can't see them over the shelves either. I thought I could, but I can't. But I think it's different to have, like, your own cat's hair in the food than some stranger's hair tie. It just feels different. Yeah, since it's so hard to catch the the, pri the complaints, I'll just help some customers as well. Because I still need quite a lot, I think. Yeah, I need like 300 checkouts still to go. <laughs> That's a lot. You have to go outside when a big storm is coming? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, here we have uh, official warnings when a certain speed of wind is measured or well expected, you know, expected. Uh, they will give a certain color warning and depending on that you uh, basically determine what you do. So like a yellow warning would be, well, I mean, go out, go out if you have to, but be careful. Oranges, please don't go out there unless it's really, really necessary at your own risk. And red is your goddamn idiot. Go home. <laughs> Basically. Hey, ghostly SMS, mom. Uh, what's the goal today? So I'm last time I upped some pricing and we got some complaints. So now I'm basically. Um, thank you very much for following. Um, also, and asking a question. So the goal today is to figure out what happens when we change pricing and at what point we stop getting a whole lot of complaints. So especially the more expensive items. Okay, that's the same sugar again. So I think I have... A couple of products above 10 bucks. Uh, maybe we do those on 50 cents instead of 60 cents. 
So I'm making some changes every day and see how many complaints we get, how much money we make. Try to see if we can maximize the profits a bit. We were already working on it by upping the prices. Now we basically need to go down a bit and find the right balance. I haven't seen complaints though about cheaper products, only if that's sugar. Now, unfortunately, that's because I'm right across that aisle. Right, there's probably been complaints here as well. And I just can't see it. Okay, so that one doesn't have a problem. Wait, is this one maybe wrongly priced? No, it's 60 cents. And we're... Okay, so not everyone. That's, that's also the thing, right? That if you make something too expensive, not everyone thinks it's too expensive. Only a couple of people. Bye, there you go. It includes you too, yeah, with me too. The music can really just store itself in my head and stay there for a long time. <laughs> Measure tornado strength by the number of flying cows. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Oh, we got 69 likes. Thanks, everyone. Got giggity likes there. I wish the reflection in things wasn't so strong. I mean, look at those sushi boxes. They sparkle. Well, we definitely sold some. Wait, how much ice cream are you buying? <laughs> what is it, Maxi? And boop. Hold on. Got, got a boop Freya. Hey, Matthew. Uh, so today, um, yesterday, we upped the pricing a lot. So we went a little bit higher still for the, the expensive products. Well, not expensive. The highest price products. Uh, however, we got a bunch of complaints. So we, we need to go down again. I'm trying to figure out how much. And what I really need to know is do pi people buy less when we have higher pricing? Or... Is it just programmed that people buy the same? You know, it's it's pretty random how much they buy of each item, right? But very rarely they might buy four, but it's usually a one to three of an item. But it's not like I can see how much people buy. Like, has the number gone down of the amount of products we sell each day? No idea no way to tell I'm not gonna stand here and count <laughs> yeah it's gonna be trial and error I mean obviously there might be um, updates coming in the future that changes it or that gives us more information it's all possible but for now we're just looking at we have a good store how can we make the most money out of it with it, out of it, both work. Well, they were getting rid of the last customers. I'm gonna get rid of some boxes.
Okay, so today we did sell some of those. Um, toilet paper. Yeah, no, it's all full. If we have one rice, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I definitely know we got complaints about that one sugar, the powdered sugar. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we still got a lot of complaints. I'm looking at income now because we really bought very little yesterday. So the profit doesn't tell us a whole lot. Okay, I took a screenshot. Refresh, there you go. So this is day 128. Pricing. Um, 20, 40, 60, 120, 200. Uh, Yutsitsu Soda. Which one is that? Which one is the Yutsitsu? It must be this one. Yes. Um, yeah, this is only 20 cents up, so that's 220. Hey, Megan. Shelf life. Yeah, that's... I'm not gonna like that. But that also means that you really need to keep an eye on certain products to make sure that they buy the older stuff and then you can quickly refill it. However, if we're gonna we're gonna get the restocker first, right? And there, if, as long as you have the supplies, he's gonna be able to keep up with that. Uh, I do also do the round numbers because I'm running the till as well, and otherwise you're working with cents. And that's a pain. XA, it's completely exploded, this game. Everybody loves it. And I wish I had some keys to give away. Unfortunately, I never got a response to that request. That's fine, though. I mean, some just don't want to do that. That's how it works. I might... Um, maybe I should give some away uh, when, when I hit the 10k. But I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay, we did the price changing. We changed let's pay the bills okay so we still got eight complaints two of those came from this sugar we don't know where the rest came from so what should we change what i i don't think it's the it's the 20 dollar plus products that are the problem I'm going to change the 15 to 20 to $1 profit. Yeah, or or we do the 10 to 15 lower. It's not that high though, 60 cents. That's the thing. No, I don't I want to I want to make one change per day so we can see where the problem is. So, lowering the 15 to 20 didn't help a lot. Okay, so let's do the 10 to 15 to 50 cents. That's only 10 cents lower, but let's see what happens. XE, thank you very much for subscribing. Okay, we knew that one was a problem. Let's go. 10 to 15 is going to be... It's a small change, and I want to know if it helps. Uh, no, yeah, 10 to 15, that's this one. 
Um, so that's 70 cents. I do round it down. Uh, I don't have to look there. It's the sodas. None of them are. Okay, that's all below 10. Uh, so what did I say? 50 cents? Ah, I put that one too high, I see. The thing is that we don't have any complaints of these items, right? Oh, let's just test it. Uh, no, I changed that. That's right. Meat? Yes, this one. Actually, no, that's supposed to be 14 rounds. There you go. Okay. Uh, above. No, 10 to 15. Hold on, not that one then. No, that one's already on 50 cents. That one is good. Um, it was only one cent more. Oh wait, this coffee too. Ah, this one was way too low. I must have forgotten it somewhere. Uh, so this is 70 cents. There you go. Maybe I lost it uh, or forgot it some more time during a uh, price change. Oh, wrong button. It's 80, not 98. This is going to be 40 cents. Let's see if this saves us on complaints. If it doesn't, we know it's a different price group that's being the issue. I already changed you. But I assumed it was this one simply because we got complaints on that sugar. Honey, I can't keep an eye on the whole store. That's the thing. I, I miss things a lot. It's only a few seconds that a complaint pops up. Makes it really hard. I think this is, except for the mayo, probably all about uh, under 10. Uh, that, that's 60 cents. There you go. Yeah, that one's counting as under 10. Well, I'm getting a lot of complaints. And maybe I'm wrong about this, but we're going to try it. I can always change it back again and see if maybe we catch some other complaints. Or we try to catch complaints and just go by that. That's also an option. Hey, Bamboo Tuna. Um, yes, I would love to be able to see the complaints. It would make this so much easier. Because then you know which products are complained about and you can change it per product. Right now I'm working per price group just so I can keep it, you know, so I know what changes I made. That's the only reason I'm doing it like this. Oh. What's some dishwasher tablets look like? Um, just a red spray. Two, one. One, and, oh, did I get two? Yes. One, two, three. Nope, not gonna fit a box. Let's cleaning stuff. Uh, no, do the freezer first, there you go. Okay, so that's... One chicken and some ice cream. Oh, let's do some crab sticks. 
Looks like that's slowly emptying. I don't think that's coming this update, but yes, I would love to have a way to do price changing on the computer. If you could just click through a list or even per price group set up like for example what they could do is um set a percentage how much how, how much you want to go above market price and then you can simply set a percentage for example 10 percent or nine or eight or you know whatever you please until you got the perfect price All cheese except for the parmesan. Oh wait, we're full up. Yeah. Okay, so cheese, 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 cheese. That's good. X. Yeah, small eggs. The rest is not gonna fit. I do feel like I'm selling a lot less items, though. Like, I need to order a lot less. Uh -huh. No, that's, that's still pretty good well stocked at the bottom there. I don't think we need to order that. Um... More than enough soda. It's sometimes really hard to see, but because <laughs> all the shelves look full, but they're not. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need those yet. Uh, yeah, do the shelf then? Coffee? Nope. Sugar? Yes. Yeah, we, we did sell a whole bunch. We just had a couple complaints about it. Okay, uh, powdered brown and light brown. Powder, powdered brown and light brown sugar. There we go. Tea? Nah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two milk? Two milk and a cake. That's full. Uh, but yeah, we do get, like, dates. That's going to be different. Like, by da by due dates and such. Uh, until dates. Okay, all of it. Cake. One, two, and a candy. And we need a chocolate. Definitely need to order a bit more today than yesterday. Uh, peanut butter, no. Honey, no. Mm, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much is in a box? Ten. Okay, that's not gonna fit <laughs> that night neither. One box. One box. Okay. Uh, those two cereal and no spaghetti. Uh, it was chocolate and honey, right? That we needed. Yes. Oh yeah, let's not forget this corner. Could use some prosciutto, actually. A bit of a weird corner there. Hold on, that's gonna be rich work. 
Okay, let's do the last aisle. Uh, all the flour and mashed potatoes. Oh, wait, we're maxed out. Got the brisketo in there. So one, two, three. Potato. I didn't check how many. I don't think we need any fresh potatoes. No, we barely sold any. We do need chips. Uh, chips. Yes. Ketchup. This happened to be there. Mayo. And then check the oil and that should be it. Yeah, do both of them and I think that's actually exactly 10. Perfect. One, two, and full. Ah, we're still above the 20k. Playing Doom. I remember playing Doom in primary school. It was a whole thing. There was a computer. I didn't have one as a kid at home, so it was, uh, it was very exciting. I had a SNES, though. A Super Nintendo. Can't fit another box in there. Close one though. <laughs> Duke Nukem. I never played it, but I, I do know of it, of course. How did it go again? It's been a while. Like, um, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> IT class in high school. <laughs> Just play games. Honestly, the same thing happened for me. Uh, like we had some computers in a classroom that wasn't free access or anything. But we had once a week, We in, and I was 12 at the time, like 12, 13. So for one year, I had a class once a week. And it started out as a typing class. But I think like the teacher left or something must have happened and we basically it turned into like DOS games. Or well, maybe not DOS, but really, really early. I think Parachute. I don't know if you can have, you have like pixels that are supposed to be a little tank and then you had little pixels coming down. There was a par guy in a parachute and then you had to shoot them down. Because if they landed, they would run up to your tank and destroy it. That kind of games. I think the first games are available. Then <laughs> you got that basically. Uh, but then that ended and we didn't have any kind of computer class ever again. But they did expect us to send in typed out assignments at the end of my schooling. So I think 17, 18. And I had to explain to teachers that, you know, we we didn't have a computer at home. And they found that very weird. And in hindsight, of course, at the time, I, I couldn't go into a discussion with the teacher about it. But in hindsight, one, my parents were assholes because they had computers at work and never realized how important it would be for school. So they never got one. Well, my dad did eventually after I finished high school. And it didn't help me anymore because at that point I bought my own. Um, 
and really they, they just expected you to have a computer at home but they didn't have any computers at school nor did they give classes in it like of course the year after i finished high school they made they opened a computer lab it was great bunch of assholes <laughs> no logic at all I had Donkey Kong 3 on uh, on the Super Nintendo. That was I played that a lot. That was fun. Typing classes. I wish I had those because you have to realize that I went from absolutely nothing, no computer at school, no computer at home, to finally having my own computer and you know being able to basically use Windows to going to programming classes at the university which no one warned me about it was just expected that if you were learning math and physics you needed programming classes <laughs> i still i still find it ridiculous that that was not a discussion at all or no no warning no description or not nothing i mean yes it is logical but Everyone just assumed people had access to computers their whole lives. And I certainly did not. I got over it though. Well, no, I'm still pissed at them, but um, I mean, <laughs> I kept working with computers, so it's all good. Uh, actually, I think we can add some more chips there. How much more? Well, at least one box. I wish I had... Uh... I wish I had to type in classes at school. Yeah, but that was the thing. Uh, my mother had to work with Emma's DOS a whole lot for her work, right? And my dad had a computer, uh, had a DOS computer for his work, for his company. And then absolutely no realization at all that if it was so normal to, to use it at work, that we might need one at home for me to use for school. None. No, it came years later. Years later came the realization that, oh yeah, might be handy to have a computer. And of course, then my dad put it on in his room upstairs. So I was able to use it sparingly. But it, at that point, of course, I didn't need it anymore. Well, no, that, that was it. He had it. But, you know, he left. <laughs> and he took, of course, his computer with him. So I had no computer at home at that point. At the point that I really needed it. For school and such. No, they were... I mean, may he rest in peace, but... Uh, selfish parents? Really. The worst thing you can have. Oop. I'm not saying you need to give up everything for your kids, though. Absolutely not. You need to have stuff for yourself, too, but... Jesus, you can go too far. <laughs> That's a long time ago. And, you know, he's dead, so it doesn't matter anymore. It it looks mundane. Hi, Meep. Yeah, it does look mundane. And then when you get going, it gets really addicting. Addictive just to, uh, you know, make progress. I don't see how I would get to the point of having 100k to get those upgrades, though. <laughs> Absolutely not. Or even more, eventually. But while I'm saving some money to...
be able to afford whatever the upgrade is uh, upgrade update is bringing. We'll probably be able to buy the space upgrade pretty soon. Hey Jeffrey. <laughs> I was glad as if I had a little bit of time on the computer that I could watch uh, I think I watched Lord of the Rings I had the DVD set no not blu-ray DVD <laughs> oh did I misclick again? I probably did. As I said, all the cheeses except Parmesan. I must have picked the wrong one. Oop. Yeah, so I don't have the mozzarella. Really need it today? No. Okay, anything I forgot? No, the sodas are pretty well stocked. There's a lot of milk there in the bottom. Get this side. I think we're good to go. See tomorrow if we need tea. Hey, Rina. You had to have a reason to get to get a computer, so you took up programming. That's honestly a good uh, good reason. You weren't allowed to have a PC or consoles. Well. I got the, the Super Nintendo as a kid, and that was... We're talking about a little kid, and that was considered enough for the rest of my life, basically. <laughs> Until I bought my own computer at... Uh, what, how old was I? I must have been 18. And that was my whole college fund, right? You have to realize I spent my whole college fund, my family got me. Uh, just one pepper, sir? <laughs> Jesus. Um, on the computer, that was it. <laughs> Selling bootleg. Oh, that reminds me. Um, a little while back, we went to an, uh, like an, an anime fair. And that, that usually also holds quite a bit of... Japanese things, uh, also some fantasy items and such. You know, the, that that seemed fun. We've been before, the, we've, we've been to one by the same organizer in Amsterdam. And that one, that, one was very, uh, that one was very big. It also had a lot of, it was around Christmas, so it had a lot of Christmas stuff as well. They had like stands with actual Japanese food, you know, the, the real deal. Um, and then we got to this one. It was tiny, minuscule fair. It was like, uh, think of one school sport hall big. And it wasn't even full. <clears throat> and that was literally what it was, a school sport hall. So, and the food was not actual, like, companies selling food. There were just a couple of, I don't know, students probably with with a, with one tiny deep fryer. So I mean, it wasn't bad. We had some, you know, what did we have? Takoyaki? It was pretty good. Gyoza. But I could have made that at home, you know. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> we are spoiled now, Edgar, that's true. But boy, that fair was such a disappointment. That was really, that's like, how dare you 
sell this like a full Japanese anime fair. But the point was that uh, there's a warning. There was a warning on that website that you were not allowed to sell any kind of bootleg and any kind of um, uh, yeah official merchandise for anime without you know the the proper papers basically. And uh, and if you saw it, you had to report it. And we came there, and there was there was nothing but. There was nothing but people creating things from official animes. And there was no way anyone had any kind of permission or... <laughs> so we just uh, had a good laugh about that. But yeah, that was, that was really, really bad. No, Steve, the, I, at 18 I was able to finally get an actual PC. But I didn't learn much more about it until I met uh, Osaka, really. Who knew a lot about computers and built one for me and, you know, explained stuff, showed me stuff. I actually heard recently that there's this thing going on in the world where a lot of people who think they're pretty good with... Uh, with PCs, especially younger. Why is everyone buying so little items? Is it just because of the pricing? Now I'm really curious. So few items, I mean. I really don't know if people are buying less because of the pricing. Uh, so to finish the story, that was that uh, people think like, okay, we, we're handy with technology, but all they're used to is their phone. So they don't know what a folder is. They, t they don't know what a directory is or a, a BIOS or... <laughs> uh, the Super Nintendo is a very old Nintendo console. You had the Nintendo and then they came with the Super Nintendo. Oh, the chicken. Six, fifty, seventy. See, he's buying a lot. I guess it's just pretty random. Oh, missed the one. No, that was the, the handheld device was the Game Boy, and I had that too. Later, that was later. Uh, but yeah, it is. It was an actual console with cartridges. You had to blow in, and then you. And I'm serious about that. <laughs> if it was a little dusty, it wouldn't work. Uh, no, Kiwi, I don't think you miss much. I'm just still running this day. We're almost up to 100 likes. Thank you, everyone. I'm just... Oh. Okay. Clearly, above 20 was that. An item was too expensive. I'm really curious if we're going to get less complaints now, though. Now that I lowered the 10 to 15 a little bit. 20, 7, 50, and 70. Atari. Um, I, re I remember playing Pong on one of the first consoles ever made. I think that was the Atari. If I'm not mistaken, it's a long time ago. My aunt and uncle had it. Well, I should say my uncle. He was uh, the one who liked like anything to do with computers. 
all the beer. Hey, Tony. Ah, uh, I think I saw the Nintendo 64 at a at the neighbors of my aunt so i would um I, I would like stay over at my aunt's and then i would visit at uh, the neighbor had a boy was pretty close to my age so i would visit and he was the one with they had i was allowed to use the computer they had multiple consoles they uh, they had a lot of stuff it was pretty great <laughs> But I never had it. And I was probably a pretty good guest because really, even if he, uh, if the the son wasn't at home, I was allowed to come over and just use the PC and I would play Sim Tower. They had Sim Tower. I still love that game. I think I have it on the emulator. I'll have to check DOSBox. I think I, yeah, the DOSBox. I have it on there. It's. Uh, it's pretty good. There's um, there's like a, a, how do you call that? A spiritual follow-up to that one. So someone loved that game as well and made a more, you know, modern version of it. And it's still, it's not the same. Hey, Ish. Ish for, uh, FAQ. Uh, Nintendo 64 is also a console. Uh, so the, the ha for Nintendo, the handheld would really also always be a Playboy. <laughs> game Boy, of course. A game. <laughs> Still joke. Um, it was close, right? The Game Boy, you had the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, things like that. I always had the original Game Boy. I eventually bought something uh, that allowed me to play Game Boy games on the on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I always regretted that because really, while Tetris was pretty cool in your TV, it just wasn't... It was a bit of a waste of money, really. Game Boy Pocket, that one I don't know. Oh, hey, Auntie. Hello, hello. <clears throat> I played, um, I had later on the yellow Pikachu game uh, on an emulator. That was pretty cool. So I just had it on my, uh, on my PC. Actually played that a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we checked those. We got those. Hey, those. Yeah, they sold very well today. Pretty well, not very well. Okay, let's see how it, how it's going. Four complaints. That's a lot better. So we saw today that we had a complaint about. The above twenty dollars income though is pretty steady, and but I do see it. it this is better than we had yesterday, as in real life yesterday. Um, hummus and spaghetti. No, that's... No, wait, I have the cheese. I need the hummus. There we go. So that's... Uh... Oh, that's actually five. Hold on. Uh, how much did we do? 20 cents? There you go. And the spaghetti. 
first do the basics. Forty cents. There you go. And then we pay our bills. I'm trying to make sure I do that every day so we can have a good even view of how much we're making in profit. Then I right uh, F five. This is day was day hundred and twenty nine. We had pricing of twenty. 40, 50, uh, 120, and 200. Okay, so this is going to be the next day. What are we changing today? I think we should go down with the, the high pricing a bit. I think two, $2 is probably a bit too much if we're going to get a complaint. How much should we go down? It's... The problem is I don't know where the other complaints came from, right? Do we just make it 180? Just make this 27. Um, 30. Or was it this one? Oh, I don't know, do I? Well, let's see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't, we can always put it back again. Um, but uh, the keg. But the price change on the 15 to 20 made a big difference. Just going down. Uh, oh no, actually, am I? I'm mistaken, aren't I? Because we went down to 120, and what was the change we made? 60 cents to 50 cents on the 10 to 15. That saved us half the half the complaints. That ten cents change. Okay, so let's see if this makes a difference. What didn't make a difference? Because I should have looked at that too. Going from one fifty to one twenty didn't make a difference. So really, we should have gone back up again. But we can try that tomorrow. Commodore, my goodness. Let's do some ordering now that we got our info. Uh, add some dish soap. Okay. Yeah, blue spray, how much? Two, two. Let me see here. One, two, one, two. Uh, we can fit eight. So no, because that has 12 in the box. This one do though. Freezer. We need three chicken and some fries. Fries, one chicken, and then one, two more chickens. Uh, yeah, that was the freezer. Because we have more than enough ice cream. We still have it in a box. You grew up with CDs? Oh, you're, you're just a kid. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Like I had a, I had a little cassette player and then I got a Walkman. Oh my goodness, the fancy. Okay, we need soaps. Do we need ham? Yeah, we could use some ham. Uh, let me get that. Uh... Let me just put it on back on cleaning because I forgot to check. There you go. And then we got our first CD player. Oh my goodness. That was something. But of course, we, I had a I had a, a disc man and it skipped. And then I got a new one for my birthday. And that one didn't skip anymore. Because it had uh, like anti-shock or something. I don't remember what it's called. It was very fancy. I do remember that. It was probably super ridiculously expensive. Oh, fun times, fun times. And then, then it started going fast, right? We need... Uh, Mimolet. Uh, Comte. And two mozzarella. There you go. Did I not have leftovers? Oh, I guess we could have fit that all in there. The parmesan already. <laughs> and then I started... Then I finally got my own computer. And then I started burning CDs. Because I, I, I was a naughty girl. Had to, you know... I downloaded bad stuff. No, not that kind of naughty. <laughs> oh, oh, good times. Do we need small eggs? No. Big eggs. Uh oh. There is a little tape in the cassette and you would actually, if it got stuck or you, you wanted to ch do something, you would take a pencil and you would actually physically rotate it to get it. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, we need a big sushi. Oh, floppies. And then you had to install something and you, you had to put in like eight floppies to get something. <laughs> oh, I remember that. It's funny how much of that stuff I do remember even though I didn't really have access to a lot of it. Okay, we need blue water, juice and milk. All the juice, uh, milk, and some yogurt as well, I saw. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing with our uh, colas? How many? No, wait. No, these are... They're three deep. Okay, so four... 14, 17. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I keep forgetting the beer, don't I? Hold on. Luckily, I had it very full, so it, it's not running out. So, this cola purchase. What other sodas do we need? No, that one's pretty full. Uh, I think red and pink would uh, would be good. Pink and red. Don't mix them up this time. Okay, we need ham pastry. I'm only 21, yeah. I'm very wise for my age. <laughs> so who here ever held a, a, one of those big... The reason they're called floppy 
discs. The B drive. I I I don't think I've ever used it, but I have held one because something still required it. Do we need butter? Not really. We could do some with some more mus musaka though. Look it up. Why are floppy disks called floppy? You'll see the ridiculousness of the gigantic B floppy. <laughs> it's, yeah, I think it, it's great. Oh boy. Um, we're definitely selling more of the field shops. I, I'll, I'll get some. Uh, yeah, that's enough for the fridge. Wait, did I order cleaning stuff already? Yes, okay, good. While I have it in my hands. Oh, actually, we could uh, definitely use another box, I see. It's emptier than I thought. There you go. Okay, coffee. Two pink, one black. How do you like your coffee? Pink. Wait, did I get the two in? Yes. Oh. Black tea and a milk. Now it's full. Milk. One should do sugar. Yes. But yes. This one's always hard to see if you need it. Um. No, that's not gonna fit. Yes. No. Okay, so uh, brown and pink. Pink, brown, and light brown. There you go. How are we doing at the booze? Oh yeah, we definitely need two six packs and vodka. Next. All looking full. Um, no, just the uh, chocolate cereal and bread. Cereal, chocolate, sliced bread was right there, and then we need the little bread. Okay, that one's full too. Yeah, I feel like it's picking up again. I need to order more, but that could, it maybe maybe I got things. Swapped around. Um, no, just one. Also one to one rice and pasta. All of them. Two. Oh, pasta. One, two, three. Yeah, that's something I've never done. Learn to count on an abacus. <laughs> Firewire. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, potatoes and blue flour. Give me a mashed potatoes and two normal potatoes. Mm. 
Yeah, we... Okay, so we need chips and all the condiments and spices. The yellow chips. Okay, so that's... Uh, I wish you could... I wish they were called condiments and then mayonnaise. Because then I could search for condiments. Like you can search for soda or search for chips. Um, hot sauce. Ketchup. Salt. And just like the salt and pepper, especially if they add more, you know, make it s spices and then salt and pepper. I forgot the honey and the peanut butter. We definitely need those. Just realized I haven't looked at those. Okay, we still have three more slots in that order. Yeah, see? I needed to order a lot more today. Let's go. I can't wait till we get the restocker. <laughs> gonna save us so much time. And it means we can play more days in the same time. So that means that really our profit is gonna go up way faster. At least that's what I'm... What I'm hope is gonna happen. Oh. Okay, I can fit. Oh wait, no, I did order two. Never mind. I think I did. Let me see. We'll we'll come across it sometime. I shouldn't run in the store. It's too small. Ah, invisible potato. You could hear it go on and off the shelf, but it wasn't visible. <laughs> it makes you feel so young. You're home for two nights? Very nice. Oh, me too, Edgar. I, it was terrifying. The original Jurassic Park. Did we order another chips? Because we can definitely fit another one in there. Let me check first though before we add more. God, the kitchen scene. It was... <laughs> or, the, you know, just the shaking glass. Oh boy, as a little kid. Oh no, wait, it was full. That's going to be our big bag of potatoes. Yeah, because I, <laughs> while putting things in storage is not a whole lot less work than putting it in the store, it is less work. Just throw it on the shelf. If the restocker can just take things from the shelf as needed, that's going to be a lifesaver. I do think, by the way, that there's going to be more than one from what the dev said. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what he said. Oh, we're at 99 likes. Who's going to be number 100? Who's it going to be? I love Jurassic Park too. I need to I need to play more dino games. I actually got a key for one. Forgive me, I don't quite remember which one it was. I'll have to look it up. But unfortunately, it was so badly optimized that... I emailed them back. I said, my video card is, even on low settings, is going crazy. I can't stream this. But maybe I know a bit more now. Maybe I could figure it out now, though. But it was pretty bad. But I was like, this is a top-down, you know, Jurassic Park building game. Where you build a park and you get, uh, you know, you build a nice park. That's basically, if you make dinos, you make a nice park. Blue water? Uh, I think I ordered that, or was it, did I order white water? No, I, I got that. If I mix it up, I'll order it still, no worries. But it, it should be in the pile there. Hey, clock bunny! Hey, Screech Owl. 
Uh, yeah, maybe I overshared a little. It's just, you know, that's life and it's all way in the past, so it's not like it's a big deal anymore. But, you know, one of the things that happens as you grow older, you realize the mistakes your parents made and, you know, if they learn from it, you can... Uh, My my dad did did he learn from his mistakes? I don't know. But he did better. He made improvements to his life. We got back into contact. I mean, it's a big thing. Does it make up for everything that went wrong? No. Did we get a good good relationship? No. <laughs> he had a good relationship with Osaka. Because, you know, they didn't share that past, and I was happy for that. So it's, you know, in the end, it's all good. Shit happens. You just make the best of your own life and really fuck everyone else. That's that's one thing I've learned. Make your own life as good as possible. Help if you can. And otherwise, if some, you know, just fuck them. Maybe that's too harsh, because I do like helping people, and I like I like giving p things, and but not at the, at the cost of yourself. Never at the cost of yourself, because you don't get it back. Maybe some there are some people, but you'll know. Trust me, you'll know if you if you run into someone who will give like that. You'll know. I had a person like that in my life. And he died way too young, unfortunately. I mean, he had uh, severe diabetes and he basically gave up, you know? Because that would happen when you've been sick for a long time, pain every day. Eventually you just give up. So I can't blame him. But still, yeah. You know when you have someone like that. If you pick a good person and you stick with them. And then you find joy. <laughs> How the hell are you? What the hell? <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, I'm Dutch. We're known for being too direct, right? We, we can, yeah. I tried. I honestly tried to watch that. But, yeah. It is true. But for us, it's very normal, so it's, it doesn't come across as rude or anything like that. I don't even notice it really unless it's pointed out, which hasn't happened yet to me, so that, I guess that's a good thing. Exactly, Screech Owl. But, you know, that's that really works. That's, that message is really for people who give too much of themselves, right? Allison, thank you very much for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Did the counter not go up? It did not, did it? Allison, thank you. Let me check that real quick. Am I not in YouTube? Yes, I am. is weird hold on this is gonna look weird for a moment hold on Clark Bunny thank you very much for following uh, no it's not Okay, hold on. It's not counting. Did I miss anyone else? Hold on. I need to fix this so the counter is correct. Hold on. 
Okay. Um. Um. I always need to put in a date. I can never say do it uh, until the end of time. Okay, get the chat back to the front. There you go, now I can see you all. Okay. I had to do that manually. I don't know why it's not counting. Oh, am I am I logged in with Twitch? Is it not working because of that? That shouldn't be it though. Well, if it's uh, if it's not working, I'll fix it manually and uh, I'll look at it after the stream. This is not really the time to do that. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> Streamlabs be weird sometimes. Oh, Jaws was terrifying. Oh yeah, absolutely. When I first saw that on TV. Oh no, Allison, I thank you. It's just that I suddenly realized it wasn't going up the counter, but that's really weird. It might have to do with, uh, I was working on some alerts earlier and I think I logged in with Twitch. So, but all the alerts are just the same. You know, everything's connected, so it shouldn't matter really. Yeah, I got a lot to learn after I uh, added Twitch to the to the streaming. Let's continue. We have a lot to stock. And thank you all for over 110 likes already. Fireball, you chase it down with apple cider. I'm still making the uh, the recipe I I got the. Nima's hammer. It was he named it. There you go. Uh, what what was I have the recipe? What, what was in it again? Top of my head, it was a uh, apple cider, uh, like an a hard apple liqueur. Uh, I use Calphados, but I don't know what it's called in English. It was a different name. I had to look it up for how to get it here. Then it turned out it was very easy to get. It was just sold under a different name. And something like a fireball or cinnamon whiskey, something like that. It's very good. Drank warm, of course, during the winter. And it hits like a hammer. <laughs> it drinks like lemonade, but boy, oh boy. That reminds me, I, I, I'm quite fond of uh, apple flavored things, not necessarily candy, but drinks. So sometimes when I go to a restaurant, you know, and I, I'm probably hungry, haven't eaten in a while. So I don't take anything alcoholic to start us off with. And sometimes I, especially when they only have Pepsi and I, you know, I prefer Coca-Cola myself or even just a, a B brand from a, from a supermarket <laughs> over so that. Um, and I order an apple juice. So in a restaurant, I got an apple juice with a straw in it. And I look at it and I look at the way, well, the waiter was already gone, but I pulled another one. I said, do you please have a glass? And you know, I'm not three anymore. It was also paper straw and I hate those things. So yeah, they get mushy. Apple juice. <laughs> Apple soup! <laughs> Mommy! I want my apple soup! <laughs> no, it's not glue wine. No, I'm, um... No, I'm talking, uh... Applejack! That was it! Calphados is Applejack in the US. It just came to me. Yes, pigs. When you pick, when you stick paper in water, it just generally gets soft. You get a mushy straw. <clears throat> uh, plastic straws aren't allowed here anymore. Oh, we definitely need another vodka. 
What was the other one we needed as well? No, we got two of those, so that's set. Okay. Napple juice. <laughs> oh, music stop again? Yes. There you go. Uh, I do know I said some, but I don't have any kids of myself, but my own. But yeah, I said some weird things as a kid. Hey, George. I do like blue wine, though. Whenever we go to like the Christmas markets in Germany, you have a lot of blue wine stands there. With different flavors the, we had this year was one with pear pear glue wine it was it was pretty good it was a bit soft in flavor um expected from a pear but a bit too soft little too little flavor uh they also had an apple glue wine stand and that one was really good what was it was what they call bratapfeln which are basically roasted apples so it was a roasted apple glue wine that one was really good Definitely my favorite. Right, the, today's price change was that I, uh, instead of two dollars, the most expensive items, everything above twenty dollars, is now the market price plus one eighty. There you go. Yeah, plastic straws and such. So now the the Burger King actually has a thing. Where they, um, uh, they give, if you, you know, if you stay in to eat, you get your cups are going to be plastic, but they have, um, oh, I don't know what you could call it in English. Basically, you, you pay an, a euro extra, and then when you bring it back to the, to the desk, you get your euro back. And it's, yeah. <laughs> Both for us and for the staff, it's super annoying. Because not only, you know, you're done eating, you need, you need to go stand in line to bring your, your cup back. But they need to wash it by hand, so it's not better for the, for the environment, basically. I think the, the owner told us that they would get a machine where you could do it automatically. And then it would wash it automatically as well. But yeah. For now, it's just very annoying. I don't really use straws at home, so I don't have any stainless stream steel straws. We've thought about it, but then, you know, you have a dirty straw with you the rest of the day. So that wasn't really a fun thing. But yeah, the paper straws are pretty bad. Keep you company every night. Very good. Oh, do a little stretch. There you go. Okay. How much space do we have in our order? Two. Oh, I forgot to hummus. Did I change the pricing? I did, right? Yeah. Good thing I spotted that. We only had one left in the store.
Yeah, so today we're basically... Uh, should be one in there. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we're basically testing with some prices. Um, and especially with the high prices right now. So everything that's still below 5 only has a 20 cent markup. 5 to 10 is 40 cents markup. Uh, we changed the 10 to 15 to 15, 50 cents markup. Which uh, lowered the price, it lowered the complaints significantly. So now I lowered the above 20 prices a bit. What didn't change the amount of complaints was the change from 150 to 120 for the 15 to 20 items. But that might also be the cause for the last bunch of complaints. We might have to go lower on that one. So let's see how today goes. I want to do one change per day. So we can clearly see what happens when we do one thing. Otherwise it messes up our calculations. Or our data, I should say. Great chickpeas. Yeah, that's that's hummus. Hum hummus. We say hummus, but that might be a for Dutching. Mm. Yeah, we don't have the plastic cover anymore of the cup cedar. The, really, the biggest downside is that they went from uh, little plastic cups for the sauces. Especially the mayo is now just uh, a little little packet tube of mayo for the fries. And that's just so annoying. It's also extremely expensive. When we know we're going in advance, we have you know the time to we'll we'll buy a tube of mayo at the store and take that instead of buying two cups of sauce because it's so damn expensive two little cups of sauce is more expensive than a whole tube no no new updates okay let's open up and let's there was one thing where i saw i could fit more in but I might have already bought it. So let's do a quick check of the store. No, that's enough to get through the day. We can order that tomorrow. Butter is also on the edge, basically, of having to be ordered. We already checked that one, sorry. No, that doesn't fit another one. Yeah, it was the, was the beer. We did buy two of that. Also be added tomorrow. Probably tomorrow as well. No, it's all looking. Oh, the chips. Well, it's not a big deal. I can order more tomorrow. But yeah, that was it. The chips. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's see how we do today. Well, here a lot of those big bottles aren't recycled. They're are literally reused. So you basically you pay a bit extra. Oh, well, actually, I don't know that. Are they really washed out and reused? I know glass bottles are washed and reused. They might just be recycled. Either way, you get you pay a little extra when you buy it, and then you get that amount back when you turn it back in the store, at the store. We do the same with little bottles and cans now, too. So that means that every time you buy, like, anything you don't, you're not familiar with, uh, you know, a new beer, a new soda or something. You need to check all the packaging to see if there's, you know, if it's worth money. 
And when we go to Germany, it's the same thing. When we, we take back all the empty bottles we bought there, because you can't turn it in in another country. <laughs> yeah, I guess a deposit would, would fit best. We have a specific name for it. Sometimes I don't know what they're doing, Screech Owl. We, had, um, we have underground bins here. So there's several together. Uh, for like, <clears throat> we have two for normal trash, or trash bags, and then one for, I think it's paper. Uh, but we used to have several for plastic. So you would turn in plastic. Uh, but eventually the news came that it was cheaper to sort it at the, you know, the, gar the garbage heap, basically at the garbage company, than it was to separate it in advance. I was like, okay, doubt, but uh, <laughs> whatever you say. So they removed them. But yeah, we have uh, one bag for glass, one bag for paper, and two for empty bottles and cans. Hello, how expensive are you? You should be 40 cents. Yeah, no. It's 34 cents. It shouldn't be a complaint uh, thing. It's well possible the rest of the complaints simply came from uh, the 5 to 10 era. Era. <laughs> Range. Range is the word I was looking for. Dutch seems like it was designed to cheat at Scrabble. Um, yeah, I think I think it's called Scrabble in Dutch as well. Sometimes it's difficult when you're speaking one language to think in the other one. Um, but you're not wrong. Uh, German is the same. We paste a lot of words together. So if it's one item, it'll be one word. Uh, often. There's always exceptions in Dutch. <clears throat> so you get ridiculously long words. But also, yeah, the, the weird combinations of, uh, of letters. Yeah, Screech Owl, a lot of it is all about money and not so much about the environment. They just make it seem like it's about the environment so people don't complain. But I haven't seen any of the real research on it myself. I mean, it was also like, you know, batteries. You all have to be so careful with turning those in. But oftentimes they just, you know, land in the landfill anyway, so. Oh, no, I, 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 I know that. Ah, the thing with the food industry, that's something I really keep to... I have a channel on my Discord called Food Science, and that's really for those kinds of subjects, but... You get... The problem with the food industry in the research is that a lot of the research is sponsored by the big companies, right? The really big companies that have the big money. So I'm talking Nestle, Coca-Cola, um... A lot more. You have like, I think it's like six companies that run nearly all the foods in the world. So they, you know, sell, make, etc. So a lot of the, the science is just not good. And then even when there is real science, uh, they it get twisted around by the media to make a nice story. So you get it, I don't know, but was it like an um, experiment on, on ma mice or rats? And it was brought in the news like it was a very big deal and you shouldn't eat that anymore. And then when you know a little bit about it, you realize that they were bringing it as if it was big news for human eating habits. 
when it was literally one of the first tests ever done, a small experiment on some mice. Like, it, it makes no sense. But it was good news, right? It was good news for the vegans and they made it big. And yeah. Just to name an example in this case, but there's a lot more like that. I mean, they changed every decade. They changed their mind about eggs. That's also a thing. No, if it doesn't find J-Rod, it will never probably. Parmesan Chase. Oh, you saw that jelly? Oh, I must have missed that. Maybe I was looking at chat. That's the thing, right? It's hard to pay attention when I'm both running the register and chatting with everyone. It's okay, though. I'm also looking at the number of the complaints. Even when I paid full attention, I had eight complaints and only saw one. So that's why I'm just running the register, really. But you said... I did see the Parmesan one. But you said butter. Really, that one is... Wait, it's only... It's only 18 cents up. Wait, why is it only 18? Yeah, no, that's correct. 20 cents, yeah. That's weird, actually, if it was the butter. Because I always had it... Had the whole store 20 cents up for a long time and I got no complaints whatsoever. Well, we're gonna ignore the butter then. Hi, Sam. <laughs> yeah, let's not go to the... That's true. It's, it is a deep rabbit hole, absolutely. And the truth is near impossible to find, really. So, something in the cleaning area... Yeah, I didn't see it, unfortunately. Well, if there's a lot of complaints, it might cost you money. Eventually. So I'm trying to... Both get my prices maxed out without getting... I thought eight complaints was really too much. I got it down to four. Of course, it can also a bit, be a bit random, right? How many complaints you get. I got them to zero for a long time, but then I got very little profit. So I had to make some changes. So now we're just testing. Uh, no, that's the green one. Hold on. And they do really need to add some pictures on the side. Especially with, like, the restocker upgrades. It's going to be big, big, very important. <laughs> Good night, Screech Owl. Alright, that's the invisible potato. That's right. I have no idea, George. We're just testing now. And, but we have very little information on uh, how many people find what expensive, you know. That's the main problem. But we went up a little. Five. But... We got a way higher income. That's a that's thousand dollars more. Yeah, forty five hundred, almost so eight hundred dollars more. Let's let's be realistic here. I'm looking at income because supply cost just goes up and down. We've got the one complaint more. How how many? 
Okay, hold on. Start the next day first. Uh, pizza, beer, and flour. Pizza, beer, and flour. Is it this pizza? Um, 40 cents up. Wow. 10 30. Night Nima, thank you for the evening. Underscore Freya Hart. One moment. 10 30. Beer and flour. Uh, Screech Owl, thank you very much for the two. Good night, good night. Sleep well. Yeah, flower. It was the farine flower. Um, ta -tum. About 40 cents. <laughs> Don't accept checks. Uh, this must have been day 130. So I don't honestly think the the price change really helped with the more expensive pricing. I'm gonna change it back. Well, actually, we did sell a lot more, didn't we? No, I think, uh, yeah, that one, let's, let's leave that one. I don't know where the complaints came from. Maybe we should just leave it the same for a day and see what happens. See if the money was a fluke. How many customers? What's the difference in customers? One. So that's not it. It's really, it's $800 more in, in income. A lot more store points, but one more complaint. I'm more interested in the money than in the complaints. That's a big change. I say we leave it the same for a day. See what happens. Uh, the lasagna is over here. Um, well, that's between 10 and 15, so that's 50 cents marked up. Well, t and between the 40 and the 50, really, you should say it like that. As I round it down. Uh, did I... wait, did I have a box here? No, okay, I did get that. Just checking. We could. The problem with expanding it right now is that we're in the middle of a bit of a test and that's a big change. I'm... I don't need to... The, so here's the thing. One, I don't need a big change and if I add more customers because of that, it's good. But it would change the settings of our experiments. Is that a big deal right now? What time is it? Uh, almost two. So I've been playing for three hours, right? Yeah. I think I'll, I'll yeah, let, let's continue on our little experiment for now and then Next time we could, or, or just add it now and then continue on. But you know what? Let's do that. Let's just add, because really, we're we're supposed to be making more money. If this makes us more money, why should I put it off? Right? Right. Pay our bills. There we go. The next one's going to be 20k. Well, we're almost... I was also saving up money for the next update. Because we might have to buy more storage. But that one's not nearly as expensive. So we're good on that. 
plus new shelves i can pay that that's good okay um let me see then oh <laughs> it looked like something fell um the thing is i don't really need more more space for more items at the moment Wait, can, can you two fit together here? No. Well, the overlap isn't really a problem there. Uh, hold on, just you stay there. What would we put here? Honestly. Um, I'm thinking. Because I could also make more space by moving the tills more that way. Because this setup is, you know, pretty good. Okay, hold on, hold on. You two go back. I was like, yeah, more space there, but really, if we just change this. And yes, that is a bit, a bit tight. Uh, we could also do it like this. I don't have enough space to remove this last last bit. I'd also because we're gonna open up that area, I don't really wanna make like huge changes. Uh, that would split up the flower, wouldn't it? Hold up, it's hard to see. It was actually easier to do when we had them the other way around. Yeah, well, if we need another shelf, we could place it. But for now, this is okay. Um, or... Or I turn them and give us more space still. Wait, can we... No, because if we do this, that's going to make like a very weird line. That gives us a bit more space at the entrance. There you go. Uh, hold on. You're a lot closer to the... Actually, does that matter? You go back some. This is the only one next to the... Hmm. 
Hold on, it's hard to see. Make it look somewhat even. Or we just push this one in and not make it even. That gives ourselves more space. There you go. Alright. Gave everything a little bit more space. That works. Yeah, I could add an aisle there, but I don't have any new products. So... Adding more fridges would just cost me more money and more... I don't need more shelves at the moment. I mean, yes, I could. I could easily fit a whole bunch of shelves there. I don't think we can fit... Oh, yes, we could. Yeah, we could fit one, two... Yeah, we could fit a whole bunch of uh, shelves there. Do I need them right now? No. I mean... If I split up the coffee... Mm -hmm. Could move the... I'm, I'm just thinking we could move the booze here. Chain, put that fridge and those shelves over there will have a little boozy area. But we'd have a shelf space left over here. What do we put there? More coffee? Hmm. I'll think on it. For now, it's okay. We don't... Nothing really needs more space. Uh, also, we might want to change things around again when we get that corner. So maybe just not bother with too much movement right now. Well, if I do it the same as I do now, I could add, like I have it now, add two more shelves here. Two is four. Uh, yeah, that's it. Four, four shelves. No. Yeah, because we have those two here. Yeah. I don't think a lot more is going to fit there. Keep in mind the walking space each shelf has. Put my cashier in timeout. What? They're fine. Right, right, Ken? Yeah, Ken, Fred, and the guy I can never remember. <laughs> it's always the same. All right, let's order in. So just to make sure it's not a fluke, we're not changing any of the prices. Uh, you do. Actually, no, we need a whole shelf free. Build that one up. Okay, one green and three purple. One, two, three, and one green. One cleaner and one bleach. Yeah, that's the... Uh, no, that's not the cleaning area. We forget, forgot this shelf again. Uh, yeah, we need shampoo. And that's it. Sampo. What did you have him look up? <laughs> what a check! Oh, I remember using checks. I oh, need two chicken. That's it. Rich. Yeah, it was funny. I got like a, ch a checkbook from the bank to use, you know, for 
bigger bigger things you might want to buy but it, I, th I think it maybe used it once and then I got a debit card so <laughs> they changed can we put no just one comte and sorry what was the other one yeah mimulet yeah that's it okay Yeah, got it. Okay. That's full. We need big eggs. Large sushi and tuna. Do we need salmon? Nah. Yeah, black goo. That one's pretty well filled. Black goo and green beer. Beer. And then we'll do the soda. That's this one. The other ones look well filled. I think we need some steak. And butter. Okay, check the. Uh, yeah, the galette. I need the lasagna. Don't think so. It's pretty well stocked. Same with that. Can we search for galette? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, then we're already at the shelf again. <laughs> you still use the check? <laughs> That's pretty recent. So here, basically, what you would have to do to do a, a, a big amount is basically change your maximum spending on your cart for like a day then you can pay with your debit card and then you turn it back yes if you have any kind of sense you would set your max spending on your card pretty low that way you can never you know if it gets stolen or something you can never buy a lot. We need two cakes and a milk. What? Oh, did I startle you? Oh, poor boy. Sleeping so hard all day. <laughs> Chocolate, chocolate and honey. Oh. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure what would be a, a another option here other than credit card but while we do have credit cards here they're rare more used by people who you know travel maybe for business expenses but in general everyone has a debit card and that's what you use um no we don't need the pink sugar nor the light brown. That's those. The brown. And then not the pink and not the light brown. There we go. Yes, I'm still listening to the music. 
Uh, no, we got we got the booze. Okay. Wait. Did I not already order su sugar? Because I'm in the wrong aisle, aren't I? Yeah, I was already at the cookies. That's uh, fine. <laughs> I don't think I did, actually. How are we on bread? We need bread. We need rice. And pasta. Rice. And I'll only need that pasta. Yeah, we don't have anything like you guys have credit score. I, I'm not entirely sure how it even works. Like the more you the more you take loans and pay off, the better your credit score is. It's a really weird system compared to you, you know, Europe. Where if you don't pay a loan, you might get a notification that other loaning companies can look into. And then if you have a bad notation there, you know, they might not loan you more money. That's how it works here. Uh, we need hot sauce and green oil. Oh, there's the hot sauce. If you keep a balance on credit... Yeah, but like I said, credit cards are not common here. Um, if you go to a supermarket here, they won't take credit cards. We need the yellow chips and spices. That's actually really important to know when you go into holiday to Europe. That you simply can't pay with credit card everywhere. Tip of the day. Because it's so common in the US, but not here at all. Oh yeah, I got my flower here now. Uh, all the flour. No, we don't need puree. All the flour and the potato. One, two, three. And a potato. That's the same as a credit score? No, it's not, because you don't need... You don't need a, that for anything. The only thing is that if you make a mistake, if you, or, you know, you mess up and you can't pay anything, or maybe just a bad luck, you get a... It's not a credit score as... as it's used in the US. Because you don't need a loan to get it. And besides, you can't get it in a, any positive way. It's only for bad things. <laughs> and it, most people don't have um, a rating there. So it works very differently. In the, in the US, it's like you need to make sure, you know, you get like, uh, I don't know, a credit card at an extremely young age so you can build up credit or something like that. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> if you have no debt and everything uh, you paid off, your credit goes down. Yeah, that's what I meant. So you need to have a loan. Pay it on time, and then your credit goes up. But that costs money. You're basically forcing people to spend money on a loan. It's such a weird thing. If you're paying cash, <laughs> they ask you where you got it. That's great. Uh, actually, paying in ca cash is... Uh, well, generally, it's assumed that you're poor if you pay with cash meaning that you it's not judgmental generally but most people who pay in cash have a very set amount they can spend on groceries 
will therefore take that amount out of the bank and use it so they know exactly how much they have to spend. But or maybe someone who's elderly and is very set to paying with cash. But there's really no other reasons to do so. Credit score is a scam, absolutely. I agree. If I if it's working like I think it is, because I just, you know, see what I read in chat here, it is indeed a scam. Uh, we can actually fit another big sushi in there. Do we have more to order? Yes, we do. Let's add that. But for example, in the uh, in the Netherlands, if you've had a loan and maybe I don't know, you lost your job, you got in trouble, money with money, and you couldn't pay it on time because you had to pay it. You have you have loans. You have different types of loans, right? You have loans that are open. And you can take it out until a certain amount. Let's say you have a 10k open loan. You can take out up until $10,000. It is set into the system as you having a loan is $10,000. However, maybe you only have $2,000 open on it. It's still set as being 10,000. And you pay interest over the money that you've taken out. So it's something that is free to pay back as you please, but you need to pay interest about the amount of it's open. Then you have a set amount that you simply get the $10,000 and you know, you pay that off, but it's not, you can take it, you can pay it off and then take it back out again. It doesn't work like that. And it's also set to $10,000, but let's say you can't pay it. You will be sent to the, it's called the BKR, Bureau Credit Registration. And on your name will be a notation that you failed to pay. And there's many different types this happens to. There's different notations. It's very complicated. Um, and that's not, it doesn't say anything. It's literally a payment history when you make a mistake. And it can be, re it can be awful. Let's say you have a loan with someone else. They screw you over. It, it'll be in your name and you can't buy a house. You know, that it happens. Need to be careful with that stuff, but yeah. But it doesn't keep track of any kind of payments that you've done in the past. It's simply a notation that you failed to pay on time one some time ago. And then when you pay it off, it is... I think it stays there for a while and then it disappears. So it's not like you're cursed forever or something. Unless, of course, you don't pay it off, then you are. Forever cursed. Never co-sign loans. Well, I mean, uh, unless you buy a house with your partner, husband, wife, etc. But if you've gone that far, you might as well. Banks don't like you, ah. Uh. Um, well, here, I mean, it is risky to even to do it with your partner, right? Because um, the thing is, if you get a divorce and let's say one of the people is still living in the house, the bank will still come after both of you for payments. So let's say you divorce someone and your partner is still living in the house. You moved elsewhere, you have rent elsewhere. Uh, hell, maybe you even have a new relationship. It doesn't matter. The mortgage is still in your name. The bank is not going to give up your name just because you asked them to. It'll actually have to be changed into your partner's name with their consent, with proof that they can pay it. Otherwise, the bank's not doing shit. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Your divorce costs $61,000. Jesus. Oh, you bought her out of the house. Yeah, that's that's fair. That does cost money, yes. Yeah, the, the, that's basically the expensive but understandable. Mm 
I'm very happy to say I don't have any debt. Nor do I have a credit card, but that's because I don't have enough monthly income to get one. It, it would be handy to have for things like... Oh, wait, they're still in there. Why are you not going on that shelf? Here you go. Uh, for certain... You know, to buy certain things. I think Kickstarter only works with credit cards. But if I must, Osaka has one and I can use that. I try not to, though. Uh, that one's invisible, by the way, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is invisible. It happens sometimes. Hold on. Wait, can, you, can I just push you in the corner there? Yeah, there you go. That works. You, it was so cheap you could buy it outright. Nice. Very nice. You can't participate in the conversation? Sure you can. I mean, I'm sure things are different in Greece. We're just comparing how it works with that and such. I do get the joke, though. <laughs> but I'm not... No. <laughs> I don't think I should go into it. Get into it. Well, that's gonna help a lot, isn't it, Auntie? So I got some books inherited from my dad. I should see about maybe selling it. It's just, you know, they're, worth, they're not worth a lot. Maybe a couple of tenors. It's really a lot of effort to sell those little items just for a little bit of money. Uh, let me actually... Wait, that's the wrong aisle. Hold on, I was here. Let me, uh... There. Gives me a better idea how much we have. So, are you gonna buy a new house in Alaska? Or do you guys already have a house there? You don't have to tell me, though. I mean, we're, we're in public. <laughs> nice, Edgar. Well, we got pretty lucky. We bought it super cheap years ago. When I still worked at the office. But yeah, just, you know, here, when your house gets worth more and you're not necessarily selling, it just means you pay more taxes. <laughs> so, yeah. The housing market market is a pain here, though. Because while our house is worth more, everything else is uh, more expensive, too. So moving is not really an option. Maybe in the future, hopefully. Because I, I would love to have some more more room for streaming. On the other hand, I also don't want to, like, sit apart the whole day. Apart at the, in, in a different room, not together. Or, yeah, no, that works. Um, did I check these? No, that's good. Oh, you're right. I, moved, I changed this. Did I not get that flower in? Oh, no, the flowers are still in, in order. That's right. Wait, is all the pasta still in order? No, I think because we need more spaghetti. Hold on. Where's the bread? Or oh, maybe I've already put it in because you can't fit another box. Ah, to chum. Maybe some green tea? No, that doesn't fit a whole box either. No need to buy it then. Like 
That fits nine. Okay, so let's add some spaghetti. Did I add more of those chips? Oh, that's also not gonna fit a whole box. Okay, that's why I didn't. Oh, check the fridge real quick. I did add the sushi. Some meat, maybe? Scallops, that's what it's called. Scallops. I tried to spread out the more expensive things a little bit. There you go. Okay. Oh, boop. Let's get this in. Let's see if this fits. I didn't feel like counting everything. Lasagna a la bolognese. Very good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. You remodeled the back house, you can have more. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Probably we could get more if we repainted some areas. Especially the bedroom. I don't know, we're not really looking into selling right now. We have it pretty dark in there. That's not everyone's taste. Uh. All right, so we have a bit more space today. We'll probably hopefully be able to get uh, uh, the other spots soon. Night, Steve. Yeah, I would love to do some quick testing in this game, but the the restocking, like we all know, the restocking really takes such a long time. Now I'm also chatting with you guys, so that you know slows me down a little bit. It's all good. I'll just see how it goes. The only downside is that I'm not quite sure where the rest of our complaints are coming from. So I'm not sure if there's anything we should lower in price. <laughs> yeah, but that <laughs> that's just weird, Auntie. So she basically ruined any worth of the house. Yeah, taxes. Taxes. Death and taxes. There you go. They'll always come for you. Just keep an eye on the complaints. We do, we can do that. Extra light so I can see more. Yeah. The problem, of course, is that I don't have oversight over the whole store, right? So I can either watch some of the, the, the aisles or the fridge section. Because it doesn't stick out above the... Above the shelves. Mm. 
We're just gonna have to get a bit lucky. But then I watched it like this the first day we started today. Um, like the real life today. And I had eight complaints, but I only saw one, even though I watched it just like this. Basically, I'm trying... Oh, everyone's in here. I'm trying to be quick enough that I can catch a complaint about someone's head. If I get zero complaints today, I'm going to scream. Because <laughs> then, then I know it's just completely random. Yesterday we had five. I changed nothing on the pricing. security cameras to just watch the whole store hello sir thank you for the close-up <laughs> hey xa hey spanky i'm uh, I'm, I'm looking at the game really closely i'm trying to catch mis complaints and it's not so easy. Because I'm getting several per day now that I changed the pricing. But I don't see them. I just I just seen it in in hindsight that people have been complaining. paper well that gives me a, a start of an idea basically so that's one between 15 and 20 dollars i thought for a second she had text above her head sit outside and think about what you've done there we go i keep pushing it back and forth <laughs> okay i've only seen one so far for the expensive toilet paper no i'm, I'm trying to catch the complaints pitbull because i didn't really catch them last time i'll get my numbers up no worries i can I mean just one day difference and honestly the days are probably going to go faster when we have a restocker we have a bit of help with that as i generally i don't have a lot of empty shelves so that means if i if it's going to work the way i think it's going to work i won't have a whole lot it's going to save me a lot of work i forgot to add a lamp there right two two lamps I'll get to that uh, later. Okay, 
she's getting boost without complaints. Really, I've only caught one, but it doesn't mean anything. I could have missed a lot. Besides, I need a couple hundred more for the fourth worker. I realized that I hit 50 though. <laughs> and thanks everyone for the 125 likes. Hello, sir. No, I haven't. I don't think I've seen you a lot around. Around a lot, sorry. Yeah, the complaint disappears so fast. Checker skirt, sky shirt. I think he must have left already. That was useless because I only caught one complaint. Well, not completely useless then. Hold on, what's it, what is this? Chicken. So watching the whole store is, yeah, not, not the biggest help, is it? bad for the people that complain honestly true well it was certainly worth a try but it's uh the way i have it set up it's it's near impossible to look at multiple aisles at the same time i mean i can maybe look over two see if i look here but if i check this one i can't see that one so maybe two aisles at the same time, but this one just requires, you know. Yeah, no, you can't see those at the same time. Huh. For the first time in a long time, no boxes with products in the store. They're all on the shelves. That's how I like it. All right, boys, we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> Two complaints and I didn't change anything. Oh, of course, I paid for the upgrades, uh, but I made 47. Yeah, so that means that one day 130 was an, an outlier it was because that one was uh what was it 5500 5400 
With two complaints, that's not bad. Yeah, I think I think we can keep the price like this, uh, unless we get like I can I can catch a lot of complaints. Yeah, but I I also just need a list, because then I can keep track of it. Uh, did I take a picture? Hold on. Uh, let me see. This is one thirty-one. We once again actually I can just do copy paste. And then change it to 131 because we didn't change the pricing today. There you go. Pizza cheddar. Wow, that's uh that's a big drop. Ah, to tum. Okay, details two lights, place that. How many chickens do we need? Two. Price and add some pizza. Pizza. Mm. All the cheese. Yeah. All the cheese and two parmesan. Cheese, make the cheese. One, two. All right, let me get this so we can put the the lights up. Freezer is full. Got some cheese. Okay, here are the lights. a little hard to see sometimes whether it's, it's lined up well uh, that one's too far back though I see now that's better
So because there's no grid, sometimes you just need to try a couple of times. Come on, I'll go a little to the left here. Very good. Once I have more space, we'll do a better layout for the lights. Because really, while this width is pretty good, they are too close together this way. They could really use some more space. Yeah, this, this is good. But these ones... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. It uh, On the other hand, it is fine like this until we set up new aisles and maybe put lights directly above the aisles. <laughs> I'm just thinking like... I could fill it up before I wrap it up, but really, we we'll want we want the, the restocker to do that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I do need to do some other preparations for tomorrow as well. Because likely tomorrow is also going to be either the update for Kebab Chefs or I get early access to that. So we'll have to see how that goes. So that'll be fun. They really want a video for Steam too. So that's good news for me. I don't know, cowgirl. The stalkers. Thank you. Um, the developer was testing earlier. And he basically said that, you know, sometime between three hours and three days. Depending on how it goes. Honestly, considering how busy that Discord is, it probably would have been better if he uh, didn't tell anyone <laughs> that that was coming. Yeah, too many trolls that are talking about it. Yeah, I don't see anything from the dev very recently. But then, that chat is so busy that, <laughs> that I can't keep up. Anyone else uh, streaming? Not anyone with a similar game, because I do think that's important. It's me. Um, no one I know. Twitch? <laughs> Logitech is streaming. No, no one I know is, uh, that's okay. We'll do it another time when more people are online. We'll, we'll save a raid for next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and, and uh, subscribing and following. Thank you very much for the 130 likes. I had a great time. We did some uh, some good testing. I'll share it in the Supermarket Sim on the Discord if you want to see the results of each day along with uh, the pricing of that day. You've been playing the Moonshine game. Uh, Kaoko, I'm afraid there's a bunch of Moonshine games out there. So, everyone, I will see you all, well, hopefully tomorrow with the update, but we don't know, right? We've been hoping for a few days now. 
uh, either way, I'll be back tomorrow with... It depends. If Kebab Chef updates, I might just play that alone. Or I might play both of them. Ah, Booze Masters. Oh, I couldn't find all the pictures either. Oh, yeah, did it. Yeah, but uh, that is a fun game, though. So good night, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm going to make myself a nice thumbnail for Kebab Chefs and uh, get some sleep, hopefully. And we'll have more to do. I think the pricing like this, unless I get like another big spike of complaints, I think we're good. Normally, I would stock the shelves before I log off, but I'm hoping for the... <laughs> for the restocker who can do it for me we'll see otherwise i have more to do tomorrow it's all good but i'm pretty happy with the uh, the increase in profit today because we're generally making around 2000 to well let's let's say 2200 per day that's pretty good. We could try to up some pricing still in certain in certain spots. Definitely. I think the highest prices are good. Between 5 and 10. No, actually we can't do that because the, the 10 to 15 had to be 50 cents. Honestly, no, I don't see a way to <laughs> because I lower actually the 120 could go up again we'll see we'll see good night everyone I'll see you next time I just see a raid come in from Matt C. Thank you, thank you. The black screen of doom. I already closed up. I was saying goodbye to everyone, but thank you very much. Have a good night, everyone.